I'm also struggling to understand if this is nagging or correcting. I'm not exactly sure I understand the difference. Okay, so here's the difference between nagging and correcting. And if you want, if you have a piece of paper, you can write these out to the side. But nagging in one column, correcting in another column. Nagging is high tolerance. That means you're telling them what you want done, but you're letting them do whatever, pretty much. It seems like you're not because you're going after them all the time, but you kind of are because you're saying, okay, I need you to get your bed made, and then you walk away, or you're not doing your bed, go get your bed made. You're allowing them to have chance after chance after chance after chance. That's high tolerances, okay? That's nagging. So if you're giving way too many chances and you feel like you're in these interactions, these teaching interactions that last you forever and ever, then you could be nagging because you could be having your tolerances a little bit too high. Okay. Um, then correcting is low tolerance. So low tolerance meaning you go, okay, well, I need you to do that. And they say, okay, but then they don't do it. And then you go and say, you know, just now I gave you an instruction to do this thing, but you didn't do it. What you should have done was this. Um, this is what you've earned. Let's practice doing it the right way. Let's do it right now. And then let's. And then you'll have to do this extra chore or whatever it is that you, you know, you use. That's the low tolerance. You tackle it the very first time. You don't. And if you don't know when is time to tackle it, then you might want to have time limits for things where you say, "We've got five minutes to, you know, make our beds and, or, and then, you know, or maybe ten minutes to tidy our room or something like that." And you just set the timer. And then if you walk by and say, there's only two minutes left, that doesn't mean you're nagging. That actually is just you're being helpful to them, letting them know, you know, if they don't have a good concept of time, how much time they have left so that they can do it. Okay. Then also, nagging is about you. And correcting is about them. So nagging is always about what you want and and you're constantly just saying, oh, you know, this way, I, I need it this way, I want it this way, it's not happening, da 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 It's all about you, and you're focusing more on your feelings, so you come across as more frustrated. So also in the nagging column you want to write frustration. That you've got a lot more frustration going on. But in, in the correcting column you're going to write about them, because when you see something's gone wrong, then you go to them and you say, this is what you did, this is what you should have done. Let's practice doing it the right way. This is what you've earned. Everything is about them. It's about their progress, not about what you want done. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay. Let's see. Nagging. Frustration is you keep asking and asking and nagging. You're always asking because you're frustrated. So those two kind of go together, the keeping asking and the frustrated. You don't really know how to make a change, because generally speaking, you're not using a structure. You're just trying to, you feel like if you ask enough, they'll get sick of hearing it and just do it. That is your structure, actually. Correcting is you're practicing the right way. So you actually say, okay, this is the right way to do it. Let's practice the right way to do it. Wow, you've mastered this skill. Okay, now I'm going to give you instructions to do this right way. It gives them more skill mastery. Oh, and the opposite of keeping the asking is that you're actually giving instruction and you're describing what needs to be done or how it should have been done instead of just being asking, asking, asking because nagging is really passive and correcting is really assertive. Okay. And then nagging kind of su suggests comply, comply, comply and it doesn't really have any direction. It's just details. Just do this detail. Do this detail. It's management. It's just minute detail management where correcting has direction. It's going somewhere. It's skill mastery. You're, you're, it's about the progress of the person and not just the little thing that has to happen. So what if their bed didn't get made? Did it really ruin your day that bad? I hope not. You know, But if, but if they don't learn... Um, how to take care of their own things. Now, that's something that matters. For later in life, they're going to need that skill. Okay. That's different. It's all about where your focus is. So I hope that helps you be able to 
determine whether something is nagging or whether it's correcting. Yeah, for sure. I think that gets me off of good direction. So. Okay.